body language as much as possible. And when I started to prepare for my food project, I thought to myself, what is the vivid example of using body language? And at once I remembered my dream to Italy. It's interesting, what does our manual say about using body language? Body language is an important part of speaking because it enhances your message and gives you more credibility. Due to my recent experience, I can add with all the confidence that body language helps to understand each other when you speak different languages. And moreover, body language helps us to understand people without any words. You can remember silent movies when we can hear only music, but no words and no dialogue. Do we understand the plot? Do we understand the message of the actors? Yes, we do. We cannot hear them, but we understand their message. Of course, it is, it's a talent of actors to express their feelings, emotions, and to act on, the, on their stage. But um, I, can, I have one uh, example of innate talent of people who can use the body language without do, doing anything. And this example is Italians for me. Several months ago, I went to Italy, and I can say that I was very much imp impressed with their manner of speaking. They are very emotional. They are very expressive in their speech. To say the truth, I know Italian, the Italian language on the level of buongiorno, come stati, amo, no more. <laughs> And my friend who accompanied me knows less. She knows nothing. <laughs> so the first experience of speaking with Italians was with a taxi driver when he took us from the airport to the hotel. You tourists, be careful with your bags. So many thieves here. Hey, look here. This piazza no, no over. And that side, that um, Santa Maria Maggiore. Oh, mia, um, <laughs> mamma mia, che stupido autisto. It's, it's a driver, he cannot drive at all. Oh, and that's my friend. Hello, friend. Buongiorno, mio amico. So that was his dialogue during the driving of his car. And I thought to myself that two hands were not enough for him to drive a car, to greet his friend, to uh, show us places of interest and all other things. It's very interesting that some people um, do not like to use the expressions in their speech. For example, Russians. Okay, guys, how many times in your life have been asked have you been asked the question why Russians do not smile at all? As for me, I was asked this question at least 100 times. And all the time I try to explain the Russians are very serious, they have a lot of business and they think about <laughs> their problems and their business and all that stuff. But to say you the truth, I do not know it myself. <laughs> so, being in a very nice town, Verona, that despite Rome and uh, Venice and Florence, people do not speak English there. Few, very few people speak English there. So we came to the town, we had a very good walk there, and we stayed in the town till the end of the day. And when the time has come to go back to our hotel, we found ourselves in a very strange city. We didn't know where we were, we didn't know what transport we had to take. So we had to communicate with people. And we asked a man. Excuse me, um, we need to go to Viale Venezia, it's Corso Venezia, how can we get there? Che Corso Venezia? Hmm, I, um, <laughs> um, andare un'altima strada e arrivare in centro, centro, centro. Okay, so we, uh, he used all his expressions, all his facial um, expressions and all his gestures, so we didn't understand his words, but we understood everything he meant. Um, to say you the
the truth, I found myself in a place where the body speaks. I seated, uh, I sat in a very good uh, park, looking around. I saw a lot of people passing by, talking to each other. I didn't hear them, but I saw their emotions. I saw happiness, love, passion, and I understood the the, the, the theme. I understood the message they wanted to tell the world. Um, do you know, uh, we, sometimes we face ourselves in such situations when we talk about we are not understood. How to avoid it? Do you know the secret? <laughs> 